Okie dokie, I hit Food Lion. I mainly just needed some fresh things like the chicken and the fresh veggies. This is a fill-in week. I really had everything I need, even for the meal plan, except for the fresh stuff. So I ran into Food Lion because they had the chicken breast on sale. And I looked through and found other things that were on sale that I needed to stock up. I just kind of did a walkthrough and a price check of everything. So here's what I came home with. This was $86 and some cents. Every time I go to the store, I will grab some toilet paper. I don't think we've ever tried the Food Line brand. Says it's compared to Charmin. So I got the smallest package available in toilet paper math. These six rolls should be 12 rolls of toilet paper. I'll let you know what we think about their toilet paper. Looked through the store, like I said, came upon Totino's in the freezer section. I got two triple cheese, two classic pepperoni. These were $1.69 a piece. That is the cheapest I have seen them in ages. So I went ahead and got four just to stick back in the freezer. Me and Maddie usually split one of these one day for lunch during the week when I'm off. I think I told you guys that I have really depleted my pasta uh, stock up there. But pasta's not been on sale good recently. Found this, Food Line Classics. It said low price. These were 98 cents. I probably should have gotten more, but I just try not to be a hoarder, but just buy enough. And I got one of the bow ties and I got two of the penne's. I really like both of these. They're pretty in different dishes. But the penne is 16 ounces and the bow ties are only 12. Four ounces is not much. But when you're talking about the prices that we're paying for stuff nowadays. So yes, the difference between the 12 ounce box and the 16 ounce box if you're counting servings as they do, is this is two less servings. So, you know, that's just food for thought. Think about those things. I had never seen this Kentucky Legend ham like this. Show you this meat. It looks very good. And I love the little Kentucky Legend quarter hams. I will buy those a lot of time. And we can eat off of that a couple times for a meal. I'll make pinto beans with it. Use it for ham and biscuits. Kentucky Legend is a great brand. And this was on sale this week. So I thought we'd give it a try. I did check the puddings. I couldn't find the cheesecake pudding for my dad's pie at Kroger's. But they had plenty of it at Food Line. So I just went ahead and grabbed two because we really like that pie. And you also need the cream of coconut, and I had forgot to pick that up at Kroger's. And this is not a cheap item. This is $3.99, so hopefully I can stretch this and make two pies. I grabbed some creamy poppy seed dressing. I forgot to grab me a Kroger brand of those, and I just had a little bit left. And I'm wanting to do Panera salads one day next week. Haven't had those in a while. I also got us some mandarin oranges because I had used my last little cup of mandarin oranges the last time I made Panera salads. And I just buy them like this. Number one, we can eat them. Number two, they're in little individual thingies. So if you want to open one and throw it on a salad, you don't have a whole can that you have to use up right away. I also use these in my chicken salad too. They make it so very sweet. And I bought Dole because it was on sale cheaper than the store brand. I got me a box of Orville Redenbacher's popcorn. This one does have the six bags in it. I know I just bought a box with three in it. But like I said in last week's haul, I thought it was a bigger box. And honestly, three bags of popcorn is going to last us one weekend. So, I definitely needed to go ahead and get more. We saw this, and I am making like a cold spinach dip for us. I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to make the hot or the cold one. Saw this. Food Line has a number of these little cheese dips and spinach dips. I think it's on the potato chip aisle. 
these were only two dollars a piece so we grabbed this that's a lot cheaper than even buying ingredients to make it and we may throw this in a little dish with some parmesan cheese on the top and heat it up one night for a snack i got some refrigerated pie crust to make my father-in-law's pie that's another thing that i forgot to grab for his spam was on sale so i grabbed a can of that to go back into the pantry chicken noodle o's all the Campbell's were on sale. Didn't really need a whole lot of them. But Noodle O's is Maddie's favorite. And I don't even think she has one can of those in the pantry right now. I am using most of my Ritz crackers up for a recipe. So I went ahead and grabbed some Food Line crackers that are like Ritz. I'll let you know what we think about them as well. Hellman's was on sale. So I went ahead and grabbed it just to put back. These are the fresh things that I'll need for this week. I got a bag of sweet butter lettuce. This looked really good, and it is my favorite packaged salad. I really like this better than romaine in the Panera salad, even though it's, t it's really romaine is what they use, but I like this much better. We got strawberries for $2. I got me one really nice granger county green tomato i'm gonna fry me up some green tomatoes and i think it's just me and callie probably that will eat that so one was plenty got a vidalia onion one zucchini and one squash that is plenty for me to cut up and fry up for us this week i got one lemon a few little pickling cucumbers and then the food line chicken breasts were on sale for 2.79 a pound I think Food City may have had it for $2.49, but I've just had really good luck with this food line chicken lately. It's been good when I've wanted fresh chicken, and y'all know I keep the frozen kind in the bag a lot, mainly to cook up for crock pot recipes and stuff like that. If I'm going to be, um, you know, frying some chicken or baking it off in the oven, I really like to do it with the fresh. Whenever you thaw out the frozen, it just never quite has the same texture as the fresh. So those were on sale. I got two of those. We'll just have it one night and I'll make extra to go on top of our salad another night. So there's your $85. I hope you enjoy the prices on the screen. I'm trying to do so much better about that. I know this was not a big haul like I normally have, but this was just all that I needed. So be sure to come back Sunday. You can see all these yummy salads that we made and anything else that we've had to eat this week. Until then, remember, I send you love from my kitchen.